Hi, I'm Laura Rogers. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I work at Rackspace Hosting, part one of our permissions blog series to talk to you about selective permission granting in SharePoint Online with Office 365. First of all, what am I referring to when I say selective permission granting? This means that in SharePoint we can apply different permissions to different people in different parts of our SharePoint site. So I can say I'd like certain people to have access at a, at a level, at the top level of my site, just a general access to the whole site. But then I can also go in selectively to different lists and libraries within my site and give those lists and libraries different permission levels than the whole site has. So this is useful when you want to say have a list of company policies and you want everyone to be able to go read those company policies but you only want a couple of people to actually be able to edit those. That's when you could go into that specific library and change the permissions. Or you want everyone to be able to have read access on your site and you want them to not be able to modify a whole bunch of things but be able to work on all those just documents that they're sharing with each other. So this is how we can use permissions to make our lives easier by selectively granting permissions. All right, here's an example of the top level permission screen on our SharePoint site. You can see that I've granted some groups access to it. I've got an owner's group that has full control. I've got a, some designers who have designed permission level on the site. And then I've given our managers, this is a special group that I created, I've given them contribute access to the whole site. And then this next screen shows when I go down to the library level at the shared document library level, I can go look at the permissions screen on the library. And you can see that by default, all of your libraries are going to inherit permissions from the top level site. Well, we can actually break the permissions. We can stop inheriting permissions. And then this is how we're able to go in and give the library or list different permissions than the site has to really get granular with it. All right, now I'll do a demonstration of doing a couple of things at the site level and then at the library level on our site. So first of all, let's go to the site level permissions by clicking site actions and site settings. And I can click site permissions here. Now, I'm, my first thing that I want to do is add the visitors group to have read access. So I'm going to say Team Site Visitors, which is a group that already exists. And I want to give them direct, this group direct permission, read permission at this, the site level, and I'm not going to send them an email when I do this. I don't want to spam them right now. All right, so now my team site visitors have read access to the whole site, so anybody I've put in that group can read all the content on the site. I'm going to go to my shared documents library. On the library tab in the ribbon, I can click library permissions. And you'll notice this yellow bar that says it inherits permissions from its parent. I can click stop inheriting permissions, which will let me know it's giving me a warning. That's okay. So what I want to do here is I want to give team site visitors, which is, is everyone that can access the site. I, instead of giving them read permission, I want to give them contribute permission on just this library. So that means they can actually edit the documents. Okay, the next goal here is that I have a library full of company policies and I only want Jennifer Mason to be able to edit those company policies. So I'll go to my library go to my library permissions, stop inheriting permissions, and then go in here and set everyone to read. Now be careful when you're setting things to read only because if you're in that group that will give you read only access unless you're a site collection admin. So I'm going to be careful because I know that I'm in this owners group. I'm going to leave this owners group alone for now. But I'm going to take all these other guys and edit user permissions and give them read. And then I'm going to grant permissions. Give Jennifer Mason contribute permission. Don't send her an email. All right, so now you can see it's got uh, Jennifer Mason has contribute permission. Now when I go back to the top level of this site, 
this could get really confusing, right? Because now I'm going to have potentially permissions in a lot of different places. Well, fortunately, once I'm on this top level site permission screen, I'm going to get a nice big uh, yellow warning here letting me know that I've split off some permissions in some places. So when I click show me uniquely secured content, this is showing me those two libraries that I split off and I can directly go and manage the permissions for those from here. And if I wanted to, I could go back and click inherit permissions again and that would reset all those individual permissions I put on the library and would put it back to whatever the permissions are at that at the whole site level. Thanks for watching today. Again, I'm Laura Rogers, and this is our blog series on permissions for SharePoint Online with Office 365.